in our last session we saw what algebraic expressions are friends in this session we will learn about addition and subtraction of algebraic expressions let's start our friend raj had 5 pencils and 3 books his father gave him 3 pencils and 2 books as gifts how many pencils and books does raj have now Raj will now have eight pencils and five books. How did we reach this conclusion? We added the pencils gifted by his father to the pencils he already had. Similarly, we added the books gifted by his father to the books he already had. So, we can see that we have added the existing pencils to the new ones. and also the existing books to the new books now suppose raj's sister comes and snatches four pencils and two books from him can you tell me how many pencils and books are left with raj now absolutely correct four pencils and three books adding and subtracting algebraic expressions is also based on a similar logic let's check how in our last session we understood what like and unlike terms are look at these terms we know that two terms are like if their algebraic factors are the same two terms are unlike if their algebraic factors are different just like we added pencils to pencils and books to books similarly we can only add two like terms to each other we never associate pencils with books in the same way we cannot add two unlike terms to each other the same is the case with subtraction only like terms can be subtracted from each other we cannot subtract two unlike terms let's see an example to understand this concept better look at these expressions let's add these two expressions we get this after opening the brackets we know that only like terms can be added and subtracted that is why we group like terms now when we add the pairs of these two like terms we get the result we have learned another simple way to add two expressions which is to place the expressions in vertical order when we add the expressions in a vertical order each expression is written in a separate line in such a way that the like terms are stacked in a column one under the other and now we will add according to the columns first we will add the terms of this column since in our second expression there is no term with a factor there is no term below 6a so we will write this 6a this way This is our last answer which is exactly like this. In this session we looked at the concepts behind adding and subtracting algebraic expressions. In the next session we will understand it better with some examples.